Well, if you think October is more about beer than Halloween candy, we know what you're thirsting for. And there's just one way to celebrate Oktoberfest in South Florida. Raise a glass for tonight's Style File. Oktoberfest may be wrapping up around the world, but beer drinking is just getting started here in the Magic City. Isn't this what America's all about, having a beer in your hand and having a good time? Yay! Yay! <laughs> At the DRB, which stands for the Democratic Republic of Beer, you'll walk into a world of unique brews. We don't have customers, we have citizens. This cozy downtown bar has the largest selection of beers in Miami. And what looks like a beer dictionary with about 14 pages of suds from more than 60 other nations. As of right now, we're just over 500 beers and our menu is constantly changing as we reprint it about two or three times a week. There's nothing like this in South Florida. I mean, this place has the most beers that I've ever seen anywhere. And here they have beer from Ethiopia, I think, or, you know, some crazy places. But when we asked how they stored hundreds of beers in such a small space, we were told it's top secret. And it's all behind the mysterious curtain. Nobody goes behind the curtain. It's got a lot to do with, like, smoke and mirrors and ninjas and they're um they're all just kind of running around like crazy all i know is that it comes to me and that's all that matters something else cool the drb offers a passport program where you can track all of the beers you've tried online and earn rewards every time i come here i try something different from a new country usually too i'm having uh schneider beer it's a it's from bavaria There's also a secret hideaway for true beer lovers tucked behind an Art Deco hotel on Harding Avenue in Miami Beach. It's Lou's Beer Garden. It is the only place where you can come and find true American microbrews. From a Maybach to a uh, Belgian style IPA to a seasonal pumpkin ale. You'll usually find about a dozen seasonal beers on tap and eight to ten bottled beers. Lou even recruits locals to be part of his tasting panel to help select the beers. He's carrying a variety that a lot of bars don't have, and we appreciate that. Lou listens to us, you know, because we're quite a bit into the beer, and he'll try to get different brands that we like. This is actually a beer from my hometown of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is called Oktoberfest. It's a little taste of home. There's also a wide variety of beers for the ladies here. I'm typically not a beer drinker, but I love the selection that they have here. I love the apricot flavored beer. They have a cider tasting beer. And just like wine pairings, the grub here is designed to go along with the brew. We offer you serious beer, but we offer you also serious food. Every time you have a bite and you have a sip of the beer that we offer here, it, it should marry together. The outdoor atmosphere is charming, and there's even a pool to enjoy. I like to have a couple of beers, get something to eat, and then I just have jump in the pool. So all you lovers of suds have some new watering holes. Cheers. We love Lou's. Awesome. For more information on both these places, log on to our website, WSVN.com, and click on the style file. Craig?